Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to bring a little girl talk video. I wanted to make this video feel like we we're all hanging out in my room about to eat some candy and just vent to each other and talk about everything that girls usually talk about because you guys are my best friends and I want you to feel like that always and I want you to feel like if you don't have an older sister, I am that for you. So today, girl, we are going to talk about the girl themes. I don't want to make this video too strong for you guys. I want to ease into girl talk videos. I could tell by the questions you guys sent in on Instagram that you are not very comfortable yet. So we're just going to ease into these videos and we will start with easy questions this time and then maybe next time we'll amp it up a little bit. But let's go ahead and start. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some girl talk questions. So it's going to be about everything. It's going to be about makeup, about how to be confident, about how to look good and feel good and smell good. So let's go, let's go look at all of these girl talk questions. Holy shoes, you guys went in. Um, okay, let's start from the top. <clears throat> this will be anonymous, of course. I don't want you like to ever out anyone that doesn't want to be outed. So, <laughs> The first one is, what is your favorite perfume? Also, you're very beautiful. Love the baddest. <laughs> Thank you, girl. I love you so much. And my favorite perfume, I have two signature perfumes. I have The Cloud by Ariana Grande. And there is this little oil. I will insert picture here. I don't have it yet. I have to go stock up. But it is this oil. It's called Amber. It smells amazing it is sold at whole foods and it is the most amazing smell and you put a little bit oil like behind your ears or like on your clothes or your wrist and you smell amazing i've gotten so many compliments but also if you guys are like easing into perfume and you don't really know what to get which high-end brand to buy which low-end brand to buy then i'm here to help you because thankfully today's video is sponsored by scentbird and if you don't know what it is girl let me let you in on a little secret scentbird is a monthly subscription service that lets you sample over 600 brands in the fragrance cosmetic and skincare categories it lets you choose a new designer fragrance every single month for women and men for just $15. The fragrance that you get comes with 120 to 140 sprays, which is a lot more product than you would get by buying a sample bottle at like Ulta or like another store like that. So it is a lot of product for just a small amount of money because I know that at other stores that these fragrance sample bottles come with a little bit of sprays for a lot of money. So save yourself some coin girl get tempered. But today I want to show you three fragrances that I got. They come in these cute little dust bags and really beautiful vials that make them look expensive and the quality is amazing. I'm going to show you how to use them. So it comes in this cute little vial that will look perfect on your vanity, your bathroom, wherever you put your perfumes. And all you have to do is twist up to your right and it comes like that and you can just spritz it or you can also pull it out and it comes with the name right Right next to it and look at all that product uh, i already used some of this so it's a little bit gone <laughs> but to put it back in you just pop it in and then you twist down to the left and it just sits beautifully on your counter and they also send you some um fragrance cards so this fragrance is the oscar de la renta Bella Essence. This is what the actual bottle would look like at the store. I chose this fragrance because it's more of a grapefruit fresh fragrance but there's also like a hint of vanilla so it gives you a little bit of freshness and sweetness all in one which is what I love for my perfumes because I don't want to be too overly extra sweet or too overly extra fresh and this does not smell a lot like flower which I know there's a lot of fragrances that give an overpowering a smell of flower but if you like those then to each their own. This is the next one. I am obsessed with this this one this is the Juliet has a gun sunny side up scent this scent is the perfect amount of sweetness the other one had a lot of fresh scents in there as well like the grapefruit but this one has vanilla jasmine sandalwood vibes so this one's more on the sweet side but obviously not overpowering so perfect to wear on date night girl you know this is a perfect day scent for a girl's day out for brunch with your girlfriends i love this and since we are doing a girl talk it's perfect for those days where you just go to your girlfriend's house drink a little wine and just vent about your day and your life so i love this one this is the katherine melandrino special moments that's what the bottle looks like 
This one has a fruity scent, which is why I say it's for like the daytime. So this one has citrus peel, plum, peach, honeydew, white musk, and amber crystals. <gasps> the perfect combination. And the fragrance cards will tell you what it has in the back, what it smells like, and the ingredients, and all of that. And if you want to get more into perfumes and things like that, but you don't want to make the full commitment right away, you can go ahead and purchase this monthly subscription for $15. And since Scentbird partners with majority of the brands, the scents are 100% authentic. Now, if you are not big on fragrances if your perfume collection is already well and big enough they have a lot of other categories like nutrition they have cbd skincare wellness items so many brands and categories you can find on scentbird and you can get it all for just 15 dollars a month whatever product you want to test out try out you can get it for 15 dollars a month and also a plus is that they just launched their bamboo collection so they have cleansing sticks and masks so whatever your preference is you can get it but you guys know that i wouldn't be here without you i would not be doing this without you so i always have a little hookup so right now you can use my code blancaj30 to get 30% off of your first month making it only $10 your first month so go ahead and take advantage of this I know the holidays are coming up so use my code and let me know what you think now that was a lot of talk about perfume but you guys know that being a girl well, so most girls that I know want to smell good because you want to leave that impression on someone. But let's go ahead and keep going with the questions. I also am going to be eating some dulces enchilados. These are from Gomitas Nati. If you see that there, you can go and check her out. You guys will see me eating these every single day. I don't care what day it is, but let's try them. <sighs> Mm. oh my god okay one question is when is the right time to introduce your boyfriend or the guy you're talking to to your family mm, let me let me tell you something girl as your big sister or best friend i would say don't introduce a guy to your family until you know where it's going until you know if it's serious enough where he's going to be coming around a lot or until you know he's serious enough to bring him to like family functions, quinceañeras, carne asadas, if he doesn't give you the vibe that he's ready for that commitment, I'm not saying like you're going to marry this guy, I'm saying even if you're just dating around, if you guys are already boyfriend and girlfriend and you know that you're in this relationship for a long run, you don't even have to think that you're going to marry him, but if you know that it's a serious relationship, I think that's when you can decide to bring him over to your family because you don't want to just be talking to someone, invite him to a family function and enters them to your whole family and then you guys stop talking two weeks later and then your whole family's gonna be like oh what happened to this guy what happened like where are you talking to him are you guys dating like when are you gonna bring him around you want to avoid all those questions because if you guys stop talking and you're hurt a little bit about it then you don't want anybody else reminding you all the time so i would say as excited as you are to bring him over and around your family i would say give it a little time because the right guy will stay and you will know when it's time to introduce him to the family if you guys are going to be together for the long run not saying that you're gonna get married but just saying that he's not gonna stop talking to you in two weeks and then you're gonna be sad when you're reminded about it so that saves a lot of struggle because if you guys stop talking in two weeks no one knows about him and that's it but if you want to bring him over your friends and go double dates that is perfect i would just say hold off from introducing them to your families um did you ever go on birth control if so what was your experience with it so yes i was on the arm implant for i believe four years and my experience with it wasn't bad honestly it was more towards the end like this year that i was getting a lot of acne and you guys have been a part of my life for a long time so you know i vented to you about it i just recently got it taken off and the only reason i got it taken off is not because i want a baby i'm taking care of myself in other ways but i got it taken off because i want my hormones to regulate a lot of birth controls do um mess your hormones up a lot but honestly in my opinion i think it is better than an unplanned pregnancy because that can be a lot more tough on you but definitely if you guys um take birth control you can do trial and error you can take a pill and if you don't think you're going to be able to remember every day to take it you can go onto the shot the depot shot which is every three months if you don't think you can keep up with that you can go on the arm implant there are different iud's for three years five years ten years so um, do your research with that but definitely take care of yourself and if the implant isn't giving you any side effects any bad side effects then i would say keep it um the only side effect it gave me was a major acne 
and also i didn't get my period for a long time i have been off of it for three weeks and i still haven't gotten my period back so i am taking balance pills from alani neo to regulate my hormones and to get my period back because it does take a while for your body to get back into the routine that it was before you got the birth control so i didn't have a bad experience with birth control but i just wanted to be more on the natural side i just wanted to regulate my hormones because i know that in a couple of years i do want to have babies so yeah was that a long answer? I'm sorry, girl. T I'm pro birth control. <laughs> How is your birth control removal going? So it is going great. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Now it's just this little dot right here. It's just scarring and that's it. It's nothing bad, nothing crazy. Everything went good. <clears throat> Sneaky links. Are we loving them or not? Honestly, girl, whatever is making you happy, I am here to empower you. Whatever works for you. If you Sneaky links are your thing. Do it. Should I get back with my ex that cheated on me? Baby girl. There are so many men in this world that you do not need to get back together with a guy that humiliated you, that cheated on you, that made you feel worthless, that made you feel insecure and sad about yourself, that maybe even made you feel like it was your fault. You do not have one reason to get back with him. So, I'm not here to say, no, don't do it. I'm not here to say, yes, do it. I'm here to say, think about your heart. Be selfish with your heart. Be selfish with your happiness. If at the end of the day, you think that you can forgive him and put everything by, past you and you will never bring it up to him again, do what makes you happy. But if you're only getting back together with him because you are used to him because of the comfortableness that he brings you because you want to be in a relationship and you want you don't want to hurt anymore and even though you're going to forgive him, you don't think you're going to forget it and you're always going to be thinking about is he cheating on me, is he talking to another girl or not, don't do that to your mental health. It's better, as my mommy once said, it is better to be sad for a couple months while you heal and move on than to be sad for the rest of your life being in a relationship that once hurt you so bad that you can't let go of it okay my mom said that so i know it's right how did you choose your birth control listen i was a teenager i was i think 17 when i got on birth control and i had to get something that my mom was not going to find now i wasn't going to do an iud because i'm too scared for that i wasn't going to do a pill because one day i could forget it in my room my mom comes in here sees the pill i'm done i'm screwed I needed something that was fast, easy, and I could just forget about it and never have to like remind myself to take it again and I wouldn't get caught. So the implant, I was like, you get it in and you don't have to worry about it for three years. Say less, girl, put it in. That's why I chose the next one on, but that was just like my personal choice and I loved it. I didn't have any complications except it gave me acne and the hormones were a little messed up. So yes, that's how I chose my birth control. But then my mom ended up finding it and you guys need to know how. <laughs> Would you still get a BBL? I've been wanting one even though I work out a lot. Yes, I, if one day I really truly feel like me working out isn't going to give me the body I want, a BBL is still in the picture, girl. I am all for surgeries and I, that's my answer. I feel like there's just some things that you can't fix by working out a lot. I would say if you want a faster result than going to the gym every single day for two years to get that big booty and thin waist, Go for it. I mean, you only live once. ¿Cómo le haces con la fama de tu marido? How do you re react to girls? Saludos, mujer. Saludos, girl. So she basically asked, if you don't speak Spanish, how do you do it with my husband um, having followers? So Jonathan has accumulated over like 15,000 followers on Instagram. We have a couples channel and he comes out on my channel a lot and so he's known but how i cope with jonathan having followers on instagram um i don't care uh he usually does reply to anybody that mentions us on their story or that sends us a cute messages he replies and he's like thank you love you you know like he's like i reply to you girls on instagram and stuff like that he replies too and to me it does not make me uncomfortable at all whatsoever because i know that if one day he decides to go the extra mile and like be flirty or give off a different vibe than just being friendly and thankful and appreciative of you guys watching us then that's the day when i'm like he chose to do it and he chose to hurt the relationship in that way so i'm just gonna leave like it's not gonna be hard 
if anything like that happens it's not gonna be hard but i'm not jealous in that sense at all whatsoever girls liking his pictures girls sending him dms girls sharing his pictures nothing like that makes me jealous because i am secure in myself i am secure in my relationship and i know that if he ever did something to hurt it or to hurt me then i would just simply walk away so i don't really deal with it any particular way i simply just don't care it doesn't bother me at all we are so thankful and grateful for you guys because you made us us so thank you for that and i will never be mad at him for like messaging you back or anything like that um but if you ever gets flirty girl send me a dm tampons or pads listen girl when i discovered tampons my life was changed so definitely tampons you have to be careful with it though don't wear it for too long don't wear it overnight just be truly careful and research what the consequences are if you're not careful and that's it but pads i have not seen a pad in a long time okay i think i'm gonna end it with this one and it said are you planning to get pregnant now or after your wedding i get this question every single day and i get a lot of assumptions every single day like if i'm eating something girl are you pregnant if i say something like that's happening to me recently they're like oh my god are you pregnant when are you getting pregnant when are babies coming blah blah blah, blah. i have a lot of these questions in my dms daily so let me tell you girls right now i plan to get pregnant in a couple years after my wedding would be ideal but i'm not rushing it so after my wedding maybe we'll stop being careful but i don't plan on getting pregnant anytime soon at all whatsoever um but after my wedding then it's open like for whenever the baby want to come whenever god wants to send me a baby that's perfect to me but after the wedding for sure after the wedding and hopefully by then we will be in a house that we bought by ourselves and then that will be the perfect timing and i know that my plans and my timing isn't what's going to happen truthfully because god already has a plan that he already like has his whole life planned out for me but if i am planning out on my own if i could choose on my own it would be after the wedding preferably two years after the wedding um preferably more towards my late 20s i know that before 25 i do not want a baby but that's it um so if you guys ever think that i'm pregnant or you want to assume that i'm pregnant i'm not girl um but anyways that's it for today's girl talk video i hope you enjoyed it and please let me know if you want more well please let me know when you want more because i know i'm gonna make more that are gonna go more into depth more into detail more into intimacy and all that so just comment down below let me know if you like this video and thank you so much for watching i go ahead and check out Semper. i have all the details in my description box use my code to get 30 percent off of your first month which makes it only ten dollars and aside from that thank you so much for watching i love you so much i appreciate you so so much and i'll see you in my next video but until then please always remember god goes growing and growing Got the cash double double like it's in and out Got a flash in me new trunk cause we slipping out Going stupid in the car and we drifting out Homies in the trunk and we bobbing as we flipping out Hey, going fast now we lane switch We ain't that big but we acting like we famous 